Ay, Dios mío. Gracias, Jesus Cristo. ¿Por qué? Chainsaw Man is not going to Netflix jail. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's Darzus from the D-Trope. Uh, drop a like, comment if you'd like, and also subscribe if you uh, like this video. Do, do it at the end of the video. We don't even need pity subscribers, but we do enjoy, you know, starting up a community around anime and manga, all things related. Sorry for that noise. Pero, like I said, Netflix has, uh, well, not Netflix, Chainsaw Man, I guess Map Entertainment has confirmed that Chainsaw Man is not going to be locked in Netflix jail. Crunchyroll will be streaming it whenever it comes out later this year in 2022, which I just believe is some amazing, amazing, amazing information to hear. We saw what happened whenever uh, JoJo Part 6 came out. Stone Ocean's an amazing part. I haven't read all of that series, but I've probably read uh, about 80 chapters of Stone Ocean, and that shit's fire. And the story within Stone Ocean is a very good one, although we got hoed with it. They only dropped us a couple episodes. I didn't even finish all the episodes which came out because I just thought near the end of it, I was like, yeah, honestly, I'd just rather see this shit all together, or as hopefully Chainsaw Man's gonna do, drop it in like weekly installments. And I think that maybe Map Entertainment or even just, you know, the big boys over there, Shonen Jump, whoever the um, main decision maker is tied to the Chainsaw Man anime project, I think they're just realizing that there's a lot more money and it's a lot more lucrative to not put all your eggs in one basket. Putting all your shit on Netflix, we've seen it a lot of times and it just doesn't amount to what a series really should attain. Think of Adoro Idoro, that's an amazing series that Map Entertainment killed it on that is stuck in a Netflix jail that doesn't get it the sort of uh, praise and recognition that it really deserves. Even Devilman Crybaby, it's an amazing uh, story, amazing animation, probably the best animated anime I've ever seen in my life. Pero there's just uh, a smaller viewer base than I think there should be because I know a lot of really big anime fans who've still never seen Devilman Crybaby and I feel like it's primarily just because it's on Netflix. Who the fuck looks around whenever they're on Netflix? They got the worst algorithm, they got the worst fucking UI, no one to man. Not a big fan of Netflix. I don't think anybody's the largest fan of the platform. So I think not putting yourself, you're putting yourself in a bad situation being tied down to solely being on Netflix is a smart thing for you to do as a publisher. And I think Chainsaw Man will better from this, especially in terms of its viewer base and, you know, tying a larger audience to um, viewing this shit. And I think even hopefully with the way it is um, dropped each week or... The way it's going to be dropped, whether it be, you know, batch dropping or if it's dropped weekly, I think that will help whatever that case may be, just being the fact that it's not tied solely to Netflix, because we've seen plenty of times Netflix does not make good decisions when it comes to business sense, <laughs> and especially in the anime and manga department, but shit, you've seen their stock, you've seen everything that's happened to them uh, currently in current events, they're just not the smartest company in general. But I'm really excited for Chainsaw Man. I mean, aside from that, it's, if you don't know, I don't know if I've really talked about it too much on the channel, pero that's, that's an amazing story. I mean, it's top fucking three modern mangas that have ever came out. Definitely my favorite manga I've read within the past five to ten years outside of, you know, your attack on Titans and shit. Like, I, I really love Chainsaw Man. Pochita, Denji, Power, Makima, Aki, like the whole group. The whole gang that's an amazing tale and i'm really excited to see it get animated and my, me and my brother have been talking about this recently but i wonder how they're gonna do it chainsaw man is a i feel like it will be a hard um manga to adapt tatsuki fujimoto has a very tatsuki fujimoto way of conveying things within chainsaw man and it's a very emotional manga it's very nuanced in the aspects of like a lot of the intricacies of what he's trying to portray are just you pick them up within your head and you pick it up from the uh, anime uh, the, the, the detailing of his drawing and the uh, emotions that characters are conveying and it's not always just the words that are being said like think of like the darkness devil like how the frick are they gonna animate that and make it feel like it was inside of my head i don't know it's a lot of questions that i have when it comes to this but i trust mappa the fucking goats the trailer for chainsaw man i bet you all have seen it 67 times just like i have it's amazing and i'm sure that whatever they're going to put out it's going to be some fire so i'm very excited for that but i'm just happy they're not in that doro y doro the motherfucking jojo part six uh prison i'm very excited that we're just gonna get some chainsaw man animated finally tatsu fujimoto deserves some more recognition and this was the best demon boy manga to drop in a long time bro i got the I got the Demon Slayer shirt on, and still I'm gonna say that's the best Demon Boy manga to drop. Shit, 
appreciate y'all for stopping by and maybe if you'd like some chainsaw man com uh, content let me know and drop a comment which you guys want to see within the uh, chainsaw man anime as it uh, finally comes to us later this year hopefully hopefully no delays but uh, be okay with delays y'all it just means that they're trying to get out a better product so signing out hasta luego mi amigos subscribe if you liked and i'll be back